Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are doing a video that I hated with a fiery passion. <laughs> I have been dragging this video for a long time, but I also have always wanted to do it. This video, we're going to be focusing on all the products that I hate and I'm gonna put them on my face and do a makeup look for you. So don't mind, my outfit is different in the actual video. I forgot to film the intro, so I'm filming it now. And yeah, I wasn't a fan. So if you guys wanna see what look I created and what products I hated, <laughs> then just keep on watching. I have seriously been dreading this video. I wanted to do it for a while, but I'm also dreading it because I know what my skin is going to say when I'm done and it's going to be traumatizing. So let's just start. I'm going to start by priming the face. I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Elliptical Illusion Complexion Primer. Now I just, I bought this a while ago. It was probably the first high-end primer I've ever gotten and I just, I just don't care for it. Like. It's very, it's like a moussey type of consistency, and it's very like thick and heavy. And it smells like potato chips and Play-Doh. That is the best way I can describe it. I just don't, it makes my face shiny and I do not like that. This primer is more so based on to smooth your skin and fill in your pores, which don't get me wrong, Smoothing and pore filling are my favorite types of primers out there, but this one just, this one breaks me out, and yes, you guys, I will put myself in danger of breaking out just for a YouTube video, because that is how dedicated I am to making YouTube videos and to putting out content. So yeah, this usually breaks me out, so can't wait for that, and I just don't really think it does a good a good job of priming and it smells like potato chips and play-doh so okay, it smells terrible <laughs> i'm gonna put on foundation this is the maybelline dewy and smooth foundation now i love the matte and poreless i love it this i don't like the smooth one because it does have sunscreen in it and it does oxidize very badly it's like very very orange on me at least so i'm just going to put some all over the skin. In the matte and poreless one, I do have the same exact color, and this one is much darker. I also don't like that it doesn't have a pump. That's very annoying to me. So I'm just gonna start by blending it in. I'm just gonna use a Morphe sponge. I love this sponge. I'm not putting too much of this product on because it just, it looks good on the skin, don't get me wrong. I just don't like the fact that it oxidizes very much. I prefer like I would like a foundation to stay the same color as when it's first dotted and applied to your face versus changing once it's blended in. I just don't I don't like that and a lot of foundations that have SPF in them are going to oxidize. This does what it says. It does make your skin very dewy. It is a very hydrating foundation so if you do have dry skin you would really benefit from this. I on the other hand have oily skin but I do get dry in some areas of my face. You probably can't tell on camera because of the lighting but it has already oxidized. It is a little bit darker than my neck but the finish is pretty don't get me wrong. The next product that we're going to go in with I'm going to go in with the Makeup Revolution the Conceal and Define concealer. Now I do like this concealer for spot concealing but I do not like this concealer for under my eyes. It is a creasy freaking mess. The coverage is good. I just can't wear this because of how bad it creases. So I'm just going to blend this in. A lot of people really hype this up and say that it is a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape and I would somewhat agree with that but even when I set this I get creasing and that is just a deal breaker for me. Like I said I will use this to spot conceal but I do not like to use this under my eyes where I have fine lines because it always settles into those lines and it's not like a subtle setting, it's very blatantly obvious and it just, it looks like total trash. So even when I go in and I put powder over top of it, it still creases. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see, let me zoom you guys in. So you can already see it creasing, it's creasing right there and then you can already see that it's starting to crease right there as well. 
and I have very dry un under eyes so I feel like this concealer is a little bit drying under my eyes that's another reason why I do not like it so for powder I have two here I have the ColourPop no filter pressed powder and then the loose setting powder when I first tried these I hated them and I haven't used them since so I might still hate them I'm not 100% sure but I'm going to use the powder under my eyes and then I'm going to use the pressed powder all over my face and I'm just going to set the under eyes. I heard really good things about this powder but for me I just when I first put it on it was very cakey on my skin and it didn't stop anything from settling into my fine lines which is a problem because that's the point of powder. So it doesn't look bad under the eyes but again it's not something that I reach for. I just prefer the Too Faced um, e 3 setting powder or the Laura Mercier or the Tarte Shape Tape powder. Colourpop, when I tend to buy things from Colourpop, I tend to go for their eyeshadow palettes. Um, I'm not really a fan of, of their powder products. So I'm just going to go in and I'm going to take the pressed powder and I'm just going to apply that. Now it is very pigmented, so when you put your beauty blender in here, a lot of the product does come up. This powder made my skin look really dry when I put it on the last time, so that is why I stopped using it. A lot of powders tend to get really dry on my nose, but I just feel like this one becomes extra dry, and I just don't think it leaves a nice finish on my skin, if that makes sense. You can see, you know, it just my nose here it just doesn't look really pretty and right here um right in this area it gets very cakey i have little lines there that it is already the foundation and concealer is already setting in those areas so i just don't like to use this powder i just i don't feel it works as good as the Too faced ethereal or the laura mercier so i tend to pass on those the next thing that i'm going to use i'm going to use a bronzer now i've done a video on this this is the bh cosmetics brazilian bronzer it was featured in my video um, full face of only BH Cosmetics. The color of this looks orange on my skin. It looks absolutely terrible. So I have never even attempted to use this ever again, but for this video, I will use it. It's just not a color that I go for. I don't like warm bronzers, and I mentioned that in a lot of my videos before, and this just makes my skin look way too, like, orange I feel like it just I don't know what it is but I just don't think it looks good at least for my skin color I just think it looks very orange like it has a really orangey red undertone I'm going to add some more so you guys can see because I know sometimes with lights things can get really really washed out like do you guys see I don't know if if you guys can tell but in person it, it it's very orange on my skin and I don't want to look like an Oompa Loompa okay like who does so yeah I just would much rather stick with my Tarte uh, Tardius Pro Glow contour or my Ch True Match Lumi bronzer versus this because this just it looks muddy it looks orange it looks patchy it's not blending very good so i'm never putting this on my face again a blush here now the only reason i don't like this blush is because of the color and i have mentioned that in a previous video of mine this is the pretty vulgar make them blush blush i just hate blushes that are pink i prefer coral or nude blushes and i just feel like if i put this on my face i'm gonna look like a clown so that's why I don't wear it. But again, for this video, I will wear it. I'm just going to go in with a Real Techniques blush brush. And now like I barely tapped on it and a bunch of product came off. So hopefully you guys can see that. It's not a bad blush by any means. I just don't, I don't like the color. I just, I, I feel like pink, blushes on me just look really 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 weird and like when you mix this blush with this bronzer it, it looks even more muddy and even more like 
orange on this side which I know you guys probably can't really see let me just turn this down a little bit like it just can you see that it looks oh it looks disgusting so yeah I am not a fan of this blush whatsoever just because of the color um I would definitely like invest in blushes from that company again but just in a different color so for highlight I'm going to use this Maybelline master holographic face studio highlighter the only reason I don't like this highlighter is because I feel like I feel like it's not very wearable um, in all reality like I just I don't think it's wearable so I'm just gonna go in on a Sephora dense brush it's a very glitter based highlighter and if you don't like glitter you're not gonna like this and I don't really have a problem with glitter at all but I just don't think this highlight is very wearable like yeah it looks pretty when it's in the right lighting but it's not something that really I would gravitate to it does have a little bit of like pink like pink reflex in it and it does look wet don't get me wrong it, it looks very wet again I have two lights on the side of me though so you know it doesn't look this blinding you know without lights in my opinion I don't really like color like highlighters with a, a reflect or an undertone to them I prefer more of like you know a, a white gold or a champagne highlighter I don't like just white highlighters that have you know like reflex in it now I do like the Ofra glazed donut highlighter from Nikki tutorials I love that but I don't know I mean if, if you're into white highlighters I would definitely say to get this but me personally I just I, I don't care for it. I'm gonna do this Maybelline tattoo studio crayon I'm gonna put this on my brows now I've used this before and it, it's so hard to use like it has this type of applicator which is really cool it's very unique but it's like so hard to use so the idea of this is you kind of just you know brush up and you get you know natural looking brow hair but it just you a lot of product does not come out of this when you when you try to use it and the color of it is not my thing. I got this in the color, oh my gosh, okay. It doesn't say what color, but it's probably like a blonde or something. But yeah, I'm just not, I'm not into this product. Like I would much rather stick to my Anastasia or my Benefit brow pencil. So I'm gonna go over here and do this eye. And this applicator, it's kinda, it kinda hurts a little bit. Like when you, you know rub it against it kind of hurts my skin it's a little bit too rough for my liking and like you can't it's so hard to stay like in the lines with an applicator like this like it's just almost impossible see how terrible my brows look right now it's all because of this product I don't think this product is really meant for sparse eyebrows. If you have a lot of brow hair, I think you might really like this. But I have really thin, sparse eyebrows, and my eyebrows have a lot of bald spots. So this is not the type of product that is convenient for filling in those bald spots. Like, it just... I don't think you get... An intense amount of, of product and color payoff when you use this like I have I find myself having to constantly rub over the same spot until I'm satisfied that is why I don't use this I just I could have had my brows done by now and I just feel like the process takes way too long with this applicator and overall I would just prefer a pencil more for the eyeshadow palette I'm going to use this Sephora sun bleached filter palette I don't really I'm not a fan of this color scheme I think it's very basic you know if, if you are a beginner looking to you know start and learn how to do eyeshadow this would be a good beginner palette for you for me I don't really care for palettes that are of a basic color scheme you know I want something that is satisfying to look at and something that when I look at it I already know what kind of look I want to do when I look at this palette I don't really see that I mean the colors just they're kind of like your more natural everyday colors and there's nothing wrong with that by any means but I never use this palette I think I've only used it once and I was just like done out logged off I didn't want to do it ever again 
yeah, we'll see what look we come up with. I'm going to take a Morphe M514 brush. This is just a blender brush and I think I'm first going to dip into the shade. Actually, I think I'm gonna put this shade on my lid. It's called Swell. It's like um, a silver gray, more, more of a gray. And I'm just going to pack that on the lid with a packer brush. I'm just gonna use a BH Cosmetics V18 brush. There is no product on it, it's just stained. And I'm not gonna prime my eyes because I don't have an eyeshadow primer that I don't like. So I feel like if I would use one, they would kind of be cheating. So I'm just going to, now you can already see I have some creasing on my eyelids. I'm just gonna go with it. So we're going to put this shade on. As you can see, the colors are not very pigmented. They're very, very, very sheer to the point where you can still see your eyelid underneath. And that's, that's not eyeshadow I like to work with in all reality, so I'm just not, I'm not into it. I'm not into the eyeshadow palette whatsoever. You can barely see the color coming up on my lids because that is how sheer it is. There's no coverage with these colors whatsoever. And I find myself having to keep going back in, getting more product, going over top, just to somewhat make it noticeable on my lids. And I don't have all the time in the world for that, so. Yeah, I'm not, this color has gotten all over my desk just by going in it. There's a lot of fallout, and like I said, I have a white desk, so can't wait to clean that up. The next color that I'm going to go in with is, I think I'm going to go in with the color hashtag Take Back Tuesday, TBT. It's a brown shade, and I'm just going to get my brush into that, and I'm just going to use that as the crease color. I'm just, I'm not a fan. I, I really have seen better eyeshadow palettes in my days. Even the brown is not really that pigmented. It, when you blend it out, the pigment kind of just disappears, which I don't really like. Like, I do understand you do have to build up product a lot of times, but I just don't feel it's necessary to build it up as much as I am in this video with this palette. Like, I shouldn't have to keep going back in and constantly, like, adding more. Like, I understand if I have to do that, you know, once or twice, maybe three times tops, but I've been blending these eyes for quite some time before edited, and I don't even like the look, to be honest. So the next color that we're gonna go in with is called Desert Rose. It's like this really nice, muted pink and I'm just going to put that above the brown Ugh, this looks like disgusting and I'm just gonna go in with the brown underneath the eyes and I'm just doing a very basic eyeshadow look because you can't really do too much with this color scheme so I'm just keeping it very short and simple and then I'm going to go back in with the pink, just put that on the lower lash line as well. I'm done with this palette, I hate it so much. The next product that I'm going to go in with, I got this in a boxy charm. This is the Butter London Stroke of Wow Roll On Precision Liner. Now, I featured this in a video on my channel. It, First of all, it looks like a little pizza cutter, and I just don't understand how you are supposed to apply eyeliner with a product like this. I'm gonna try it for this video, but I just don't, I don't see how it's possible, but let's see. Oh, that feels weird. I literally feel like I'm rolling a pizza cutter on my lash line. Oh my god. Oh my god, it feels so weird, you guys. And it's like so hard. It's so... This line looks like shit. It looks so bad. Um, I can definitely tell this is a very wet eyeliner. You can tell by how shiny it is. I feel like if I look up right now, the liner is going to be all over my eyelid, which is not a fun time. I'm just gonna try to create a wing with this. I, I don't really know how far I'm gonna get. <sighs> This is so hard, you guys. It 
This liner is probably the worst liner I've ever used. Butter London, get it together please, thank you. Like it's just, it's very, uh, it's not very black, you know? Like, you can see, let me zoom you guys in again. You can just see how like many patches are missing in there because they don't, they're like not filled in with black which i'm not a fan of i prefer when i can just do one stroke and it's the blackest black i've ever used this is by far not the blackest black eyeliner i've ever seen i'm gonna try to do a line over here i'm like holding my breath as i'm doing this because i'm afraid i'm gonna like make a mistake <laughs> Alright, I'm about to pass out y'all from holding my breath. This is by far the worst highliner I've ever used. These wings look devastating. <laughs> they look so bad. I'm gonna go in with mascara. I really loved this mascara at one point, but since I've stopped using it, I kind of understand why I don't like it anymore. This is the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. This is what the wand looks like. It's a very big wand. And this mascara, it's very wet. You know, some mascaras are very dry and then other ones are wet that like when you blink your eye, you get mascara everywhere. This is one of those liner or one of those mascaras. These types of mascaras that are so wet and messy don't even phase me anymore. Like I, I, I'm not into it. And I notice now this happens all the time for me, but I put mascara on my lower lashes it doesn't matter how much powder I use. It doesn't matter how waterproof it is. It's going, I'm gonna ha look like I have raccoon eyes at the end of the day. It's just how it is for me. But this mascara makes the raccoon eyes look the worst I ever see them. It just, it's, it's too much, way too much. And I'm gonna put some of this on my lower lash line. I hate, 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 hate when I do that. Can anybody else relate? Because that is like my biggest pet peeve when I do my makeup. Yeah, I just don't really care for this mascara. It doesn't like, when I do this, you can't really like see my lashes that well. The NARS Climax Mascara or even the Milk Kush ma uh, Mascara makes my lashes look way better than this. My lashes just look really sad right now. So yeah, that's why I'm not into it. I'm not into this face at all. I, I honestly can't wait to wipe it off. Like. <laughs> It's, I hate it that much. So for lashes, I don't really have a pair of lashes that I hate, but I have ones that I don't really like as much as others. So I will use those ones. So I'm just going to use these Kiss lashes in the Style Shy. These are like a natural type of lash. I don't like natural types of lashes. Quite honestly, I would rather have big, bold, and dramatic. Um, I never wear these, which is why I still have five pairs there. It's not, these aren't ones I'm gonna repurchase. So I'm going to put these on. I'm gonna take some Kiss Lash Glue. It's my favorite lash glue at the moment. I'm just going to coat the band with some lash glue. Oh my goodness. I'm just making this worse. <laughs> Ugh. This is as good as it gets, y'all. Like, I really hate my skin right now. I think the only thing I like right now is the highlight. I'm just gonna go in and apply these bad boys. These are very subtle. Like I said, I prefer dramatic lashes. That's just my preference. But they don't, they don't look bad. They don't look bad at all. So yeah, this is what the lash looks like. I think these would look really pretty if you were gonna like wear them on their own. I feel like lashes bring your whole look together, honestly. Like lashes and highlight bring, they make a look and they make the look way better than it was before you applied those two things. Another reason you could use very natural lashes is if you wanna do like a really heavy eye look and you want the eyeshadow to be seen, you could also use a very small lash if that's what you would want. I don't really, I don't really do that. I will still, even if I want like, everybody to see the detail in my eyeshadow, I will still use a very big dramatic lash because that's just me. And I'm going to apply this one as well. You wanna to try to get it as close to your lash line as possible. Again, I don't think they're the worst pair of lashes. I think they're cute, but I don't ever wear them just because 
I want something better. You can, by all means, add mascara to your lashes if you'd prefer. I usually don't. Yeah, I don't have a setting spray that I don't like, so I'm not going to set my face. But this is really it, you guys. Like, this is the, the face. Um, For lips, I don't really wear lip products that much because my lips feel like trash 24-7. But I'm just going to go in with this Too Faced Lip Injection. This is a lip plumper. It smells really good. I remember wearing this in high school, but it burned the hell out of my lips like I understand it should tingle but it shouldn't burn so just going to apply some of this oh my god it's already burning oh god it's already burning oh my god my lips it burns so bad for me you guys I don't know like if I just have sensitive lips or what but it's really glossy and shiny so I mean if you like lip plumpers that are just like a regular gloss I would say to get this but yeah this is my full face of products that I hate I cannot wait to wipe my face off I feel like I look disgusting you know those are the those are the reasons and examples why I don't like these products if if you use these products and you like them by all means please keep using them you do not have to stop using them just because you know I don't like them but yeah, you just, everybody's skin is different. Everybody's face is different. You kind of just have to go with what works for you and what doesn't work for you. And these are the products that don't work for me. And, you know, I always see, like, I see these videos on YouTube of people, like, destroying makeup that they hate or whatever. I kind of want to do that with these products. But then I look at their videos and I'm like, why would you destroy makeup? Makeup is so freaking expensive. It is so expensive. Beauty is pain, people. Beauty's expensive. So I'm not gonna destroy them, but I wouldn't be sad if these products went missing from my collection. <laughs> so yeah, you guys, this is the finished look. I look like ass, but it's okay. I hope I don't get a breakout, but probably will. So yeah, you guys, I hope you liked the video. If you did, be sure to give the video a thumbs up. Let me know what products you hate. You know, I like, why do you hate what you hate? You know, like what bad experience did you have with the product? Like I would love to, I would love to know. So leave me a comment down below on that. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit your notification bell so you can be notified every time that I upload. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.